You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. One more shot. Tagging out. I got this. Never in doubt. What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, 
Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Keep on trucking. Mm. Stop. Did we wake it up? Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment.
Okay then. Looks like a dead end. Get back. I can fight too. Go for it now. 
Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? Huh? Uh... <sighs> <sighs> oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Hold on a second. Gotcha! Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. Yeah! <laughs> Compositor. I don't get it. Ah. 
How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, you know, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due... Do recompense? Uh, no, shit, for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 Compensatory damages. Uh, of course, so I damages that. recompense, I got it. <laughs> <for respect. laughs> I think we've heard enough. I'll show you what I can do. You'll see. Bundle up! <laughs> No escape. Enough. Okay, guys. Whatever you do, don't move. Don't fuck. Quit being a soldier. It is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? <laughs> Fresh meat to just our destroyer. <laughs> Get ready.
I think I saw a control panel up above. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it?
pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, the birds! <laughs> you want to pass through our territory? Then you gotta pay the toll! I'll show you what I can do. This one's for you! I'll put you on ice! You gotta be shitting me! We made it! Smell the fresh air? The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him.
number two. We've lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Yes, we want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. Oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. 
Having scouted girls for so long, I know his tastes better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Step right up, step right up. It's the fully automated, state-of-the-art item procurement machine. Maybe it's broken? Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Huh? What's that? Not working, you say? Huh. Maybe there's something wrong with the wiring. Huh? It shot you? Well, that's not good for business. Wiring must be faulty or something. Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. Thanks a bunch. Go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Now that's not it. It's back. 
best to run. Huh? You can leave it. The owners. Hey, you hear about that real narrow street just over there? You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is, it's filled with drunks and garbage. Leave me alone. Hmm? That guy over there, he, uh, he doing all right, you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? And I can't stand it. That candy that comes with the summoning materia ice cream. Cornell has an understanding. Huh? You can believe that. He tried to see us. Can't you fool it, will it? Warmth, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. or not to enter? That is the question! Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa, my love, my light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. <gasps> what? Uh, aren't you that Leaf House? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? I've always wanted to dance for a living. I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands a lifetime ban.
Thank you. I signed with Shinya Records a while back, but I'm still looking for my first big hit. It's been seven years now. Not easy, but you gotta do what you love. And I love to sing. This is a new song of mine. Maybe it'll be that number one. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Do come again. Check it out. I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dung's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute! Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> 